The Lord says, Feed my sheep, ignore the scoffers, and remain separate. Trumpet call of God. July 30th, 2009 From the Lord our God and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for a brother in Christ and for all those who have ears to hear. Timothy asked the Lord the following question for a brother in Christ. Lord, how is he to satisfy the scrutiny of a scoffer who says that the letters contradict scripture? In the letter, what is sin? Why do you revel in your adulteries against God? You call those that have altogether forsaken you my children, before they repented to become children of God. Thus says the Lord, My son, answer not the obstinate, nor strive with those who reject my word out of hand, nor give answer to those who seek to tear down my words. For by doing so you have agreed that their point is valid, though you argue. Is my word in need of human power or wisdom to uphold it? And when has the word of my mouth, which I speak presently, been in need of or ever required my former word to be used as a foundation stone placed beneath it, to uphold it as though it could topple, or as beams to support it, as though it could fall? What I myself have spoken, I speak by myself, and that which I have sworn in my wrath, I swear by myself. It stands. And you, O most arrogant and deceived generation, shall live by it, says the Lord. And if you forbear and reject my words, and refuse to heed my correction, you shall come to know the power of the Lord in the day of my wrath. For you shall surely be left in the midst of it. Behold, I shall stretch out my hand in my anger, and the whole earth shall fall under the shadow of my judgment. Then you will know I am the Lord, and it was indeed I who had spoken it. Therefore, my son, I shall answer you simply, to keep your foot from stumbling. Yet of the scoffers let them stumble until the time be changed. My son, who among all these created ones, whether on the earth or under the earth, or those in heaven, who of these are not my children? And who among these at present are blotted out? And who among men has done right? Answer, if you know, there are none righteous in all the earth, no, not one. Yet I speak to you a mystery. If all being alive in the flesh, dead, then how is it you remain alive? I speak not of salvation in the Messiah, but of those with breath. For all remain in the Father, all are attached to the wine, until they are broken off and cast into the fire, where they are burned up. So then all people are my children, yet among my children only those who accept the Son of Salvation and walk in His ways are given the right to be called children of God, receiving their inheritance according to the seed of which they have become and now are, grafted into my olive tree. Yet all, both the children of the kingdom and those who are not yet cast out, remain in the wine, for he is the only source of life. None are made alive except through him who created them and gave them breath, nor do any continue outside of him, 
for apart from him all things cease to exist, for by him do all things consist. Therefore again I tell you, the time has come and the day is very near when the harvest shall be gathered together, the bundles tied and set in their places. And all who reject life will no more be my children. They will cease. They shall be broken off and thrown into the fire, and like dry branches they will be burned up, utterly consumed. And of those who remain in the vine and bear fruit, these shall receive life anew, even life everlasting. So then, my son, you have searched the scriptures and have seen, yet only dimly. And of the scoffers, they remain blind, not at all willing to go and wash their faces, that their eyes might be opened. Nor do they seek me in truth, according to my spirit, which can only be received in the Messiah. He is not in them. Thus the mud remains in spite of their proclamation. The scales have yet to fall from their eyes. For they say within themselves, I see, I see, I know the mind of God, and I shall teach others his ways. They are like a brood of vipers, dens of sly and deceitful snakes. They know nothing of my ways, nor do they have any understanding at all. Therefore, my son, stay separate from those who shoot out the lip, from all who reject this word and slander my messengers, for they are not my sheep. Turn to them the back and not the front. Indeed, wipe off the dirt from the bottom of your shoes, as a testament against them, and be then separate. Rather feed those who come seeking bread in sincerity and in truth, those who seek to know me as I truly am, those who carry Messiah within them. Feed my sheep, says the Lord.